So, can you use a camper van as a portable office? Yes, you can. I'm going to show you how. So I've just dropped <clears throat> my daughter off at a college taster day in the middle of Media City and um, I needed somewhere to park up because I've got a meeting 10 till 12. So I went on park for night and I found this road right next to Trafford Ecology Park. So I'm going to show you around but this is a perfect example of how you can use your camper van not only for travel, not only for a daily drive not only for camping but also as a as a portable office Wi-Fi, you can hotspot, well I hotspot my laptop to my phone and then I'm able to do uh, meetings on Zoom or uh, Microsoft Teams. I can do the meeting, I've got um, brew facilities, I've got a camping toilet but in an emergency it's great um, <clears throat> and it means I can stop here for a couple of hours, do my meeting and then carry on somewhere else. But it also means that I've been able to go for a little walk around this place before my meeting started. ways to charge my device, my laptop. One is I have an inverter with the normal plug system. So the inverter takes the 12 volt electricity from the leisure battery and turns it into a 240 volt plug basically in layman's terms. And then I also have this lead that is a USB to the, I don't know what the official term is, but the plug for my laptop. So, which will convert the 12 volt straight into my laptop. So it's super easy to charge. It's actually fully charged at the minute, but I just thought I'd share that in case anyone's wondering. So you go to the Wi-Fi here, you find the phone that's emitting the hotspot signal. Click on that and it will use the internet from your phone to connect your computer. And there we are. I'll put a link below for the lead that goes from my laptop to the USB, um, but you can probably get it off um, eBay, Amazon, anywhere really. Um, so uh, I'm going to get a quick cup of tea on while I can before my meeting starts.
some of you may already know, um, I have obviously a double ring burner and a sink. I also have a fridge. With milk. That runs off my leisure battery. I've oh, got some orange juice in there, super. <laughs> um, in summer, I always keep a stocked cupboards, I'll show you. So I always keep things like cereal and cup of soup and crisps, just stuff when we're out with the kids so that I can kind of pull in anywhere or stay a bit longer. On a cold day, I've got a heater, an ever spatula heater. That is brilliant and will warm up a small space really quickly. So yeah, very lucky. <laughs> So I'm going to go and have my meeting now before I'm late for it. <laughs> just before I start, I just want to say a huge thank you to all my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, click the link uh, below and it doesn't cost anything. It just subscribes you, subscribes you to the channel. So if you want to watch any how to videos or kind of how we use our camper van, but I've got 1,424, which by most standards is nothing, but I'm absolutely astounded by that and super happy. Um, so my last video was myself and Macy and another child going up Mantor. And there's actually a park for the night there, just like this place I found on park for night. And uh, you can park overnight and it's beautiful with a lovely view. Um, but we kind of went for a walk around Mantor and then went into Castleton and I do a short video showing that. And then we came back to the van. Sorry, lorry's going past. Came back to the van, had dough balls. So uh, it just really shows you how versatile a camper van is. Uh, and of course, remember, this is my daily drive. So this is gets the kids to school, it does the shopping, it shifts furniture, it does camping weekends, it's a portable office and it goes for longer holidays. So in a couple of weeks we are going away um, for a four nights in the camper van, a full camp with everything. So I'll show you around on that. Um, but yeah, it's just, they're just really versatile vehicles. They really are. So um, anyway, just thought I'd share that. <laughs> I don't know for kids or something. We've got some uh, dens. There's definitely been some uh, some work done with kids here, and there's like a, an eco classroom here. I'll show you. So I might do a bit of digging and see what it's used for. with 
being in a nature reserve. <laughs> I always feel really stupid walking away from my phone and then walking. 